If you're sitting there like, man, I really wanna do my makeup, but every time I do my makeup, it looks dry, it looks dull, it doesn't last a long time, it doesn't look as good as it could, well, I'm gonna fix that for you right now. I'm gonna show you how I traditionally prep my skin for makeup so that it's long lasting, beautiful, and just makes me feel like I didn't waste my freaking time. Let's do this. Okay, I just wanna start off by saying how much I absolutely hate my brows when they're not done because this one naturally has so much shorter of a tail than this one does. And this one has an arch and this one's like chubby and not cute. Anyway, we're not gonna focus on that. So what I'm gonna share right now are my traditional steps on how I prep my skin prior to applying any amount of makeup. And if you're like, Cody, don't we just grab a primer, toss it on and then move on to makeup? No. Nope. <laughs> I mean, you can. It's not something I, as a professional makeup artist, recommend. I don't do this on myself. I don't do this on my clients. What I like to do is proper skincare and just using products that actually make a difference on my skin. Because, fun fact, the better your skin prep is and the better your skin in general is, the better your makeup is gonna look and last. I've always said I don't really love primers in general. I just don't think they do nearly as good of a job prepping your skin as actual skincare products do. If all you have is a primer and that's what you wanna use, by all means, use what you wanna use. I will use just a primer very, very rarely. If anything, I have a moisturizer on and then maybe a tiny bit of a primer. And usually it's just if I wanna try one out, not because it's part of my actual routine. So step one is we're actually gonna prep our lips. Now I love to use matte lip products. It's my go-to and sometimes they can be drying. There's no secret there. So I always wanna start by prepping my lips. That way by the time I'm done with all my makeup and I'm down to where I'm applying my lipstick, which is my last step in my makeup routine, my lips are very hydrated, they're juicy, and they're ready to go. I never, ever, ever have those dry, crusty, cakey looking lips just because I'm using matte lip products. Never, ever, ever. All right, so my face is already cleansed, so what I'm gonna start by doing is actually toning my skin. So for me, I'm gonna be using a hydrating toner. This is from Go Pure Beauty. So this is their hydrating toner. It has witch hazel, aloe vera, and rosehip oil. So this is gonna calm my skin if it's irritated. I naturally have some redness to my skin, and it's also gonna hydrate. So this, the consistency of it is actually like almost jelly-ish kind of fell off onto my finger. It's kind of like jellyish. It's not like a traditional toner where it's like super, super wet and liquidy. So that kind of threw me off the first time I used it, but it does a really, really good job. Don't forget to get your neck. So really this is meant to deep cleanse our pores, our skin, anything that may have gotten missed by our cleanser, this should pick up. And also of course there are different types of toners. Some are hydrating, some are clarifying to really get that gunk out of your skin. This one that I'm using right now, like I said, is hydrating. Now I don't know if you can see, but there's a little bit of a tinge to this cotton round that shows that a little bit of dirt, debris, or oil is picked up from my skin, even though I just cleansed my skin like 45 minutes ago. Now I never can really decide what kind of skin type I have just because I move around so much and the weather is so different from one place, like one state to the next, that my skin changes so much. So I just really never have decided because I don't stay anywhere like long term. But now that I'm in Florida, I guess I've been here for two years total and then I was in Texas before that. It doesn't matter, I'm not gonna tell you my whole life story. But the temperatures here and the environment here, I would consider myself to be more dry at the moment. Also it depends on what kind of skincare I'm using. Sometimes I'm going with some very invasive skincare and it dries my skin out. So it can definitely be one of those things where your skin type changes time to time. So just kind of use the skincare that's appropriate for where you are in that moment. Just because you're always oily skin doesn't mean that in that moment you're oily skin. Maybe for whatever reason in this moment you're more on the drier side of things. So just keep that in mind and adjust your products accordingly. So next I'm going to go in with the Fix Vita C Primer. This is a great way to prime your skin. This is going to help to brighten, just illuminate my skin tone, help bring back a nice luster to my skin. It's going to also help with fine lines, any redness or irritation on my skin, and it's just really, really good underneath foundation. Plus it smells really really nice so it's kind of like an added perk. Anything that's like residual on my hands you'll always see me going like this because I don't want to like wipe it off anything so I just like put it on my arms. So while that's absorbing into my skin I want to give it a good 30 seconds to a minute. I'm going to go into the Go Pure Tighten and Lift Neck Cream. I've been using this for a very very long time. A lot of Go Pure products have gone through, virtually all of them have gone through a repackaging moment. So what you see me use sometimes from Go Pure isn't exactly what the component looks like now, but that just shows you I've been using their products for a long time, about five years now. Love, love, love their products. Um, this neck cream does last me a long time. And if you're like, Cody, you don't need a neck cream. Yes, I do. Skincare at the end of the day is meant for prevention, not necessarily fixing things. So the earlier I can start, especially with like my neck, the better. Um, I've been using skincare my entire life and it's just never too early to have neck cream. Next, we're going in with the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist. So this is a newer product to my lineup. I just started using it a couple of weeks ago. And more than anything, I use this just for a nice added bit of hydration and glow to my skin. 
smells nice, it feels nice. I love to use this and the Tower 28 SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray when I come in for my runs or my walks. I go every morning and every evening. Sometimes I'm just, well, all the time I'm exhausted. Like I'll come in, I'll be hot and sweaty, I'll dry my face off, then I'll spray my face with something like this just to refresh it and hydrate it until I'm, you know, at the time of day where I'm taking my shower, you know, because I get home from my walk and I have stuff to do. Before we move on to the next product, this is the moment in your skincare slash makeup prep routine where if there are specific skincare serums that you need for your skin, use them now. Traditionally, a lot of people use hyaluronic acid or a vitamin C. This is where you're gonna apply that now. Next, we're gonna go in with an eye cream. I actually like to traditionally use two different ones. So we're gonna start off with the Pacifica Beauty Glow Baby Eye Bright Eye Cream. This is great. This has lasted me for absolutely ever because you only need a little bit. So I'll just do a little one, two right there. Then I'll go in with the Fix Caffeine Eye Cream. This is amazing for those of us who have dark circles or puffy under eyes. A little bit of this goes a long way, so put that there. Then I just take both of my fingers and just start stamping it in. You can like do one of those numbers, but I like to really keep the product concentrated right where it's at. Also, fun fact, eye creams do move when they're on your face, as in like once they're absorbed into your skin, they do traditionally move. So if you apply your eye cream like right here, by the end of the day, it has now then moved like upwards a bit. So don't like go right here with your eye cream. Just put it right here at the hollows because it will move upwards towards where your actual under eyelids are. So don't worry about that. Okay, lastly, we're gonna go in with the moisturizer. I'm gonna be using the Glow Baby Vita Glow Face Lotion from Pacifica Beauty. What I like to do is do a one, two. That way it's not absorbing into my hands, but that way it's easy for me to apply all over into my face. And then I start rubbing it in. Give your face a nice little lymphatic massage. Bring everything up and out. I do like to stamp this on my neck even though I already have a neck cream. This moisturizer is of course gonna moisturize our skin, but it's also gonna lock in all of the skincare products that we used prior to the moisturizer. Now, I don't know about you, but my skin looks glowy, it looks hydrated, plumped, the lips look amazing, and my face is absolutely primed, prepped, and ready for makeup. My very last step though is to choose my fragrance of the day, of course, and today I'm gonna to be using Jahari by Daniel Renee. Give it a little one, two, three. It smells amazing, like of course you wanna smell good when you're doing your makeup, right? So I'm gonna challenge you. If you're someone that only uses a primer to prep their skin prior to makeup, skip the primer for a day or a week or a month and just use actual skincare products to prep your skin before you apply any amount of makeup and let me know what you think. Like I said, for me personally and on all my clients, this is the type of routine that I do prior to applying makeup and their makeup goes on easier, it looks better, and it's much longer lasting. I really hope you found today's video to be super helpful. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to click that big red subscribe button so you can join my YouTube family and I'll see you all in the next one.